Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and this big black beast in my hand is the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED bit of a mouthful. It's aimed at creators who don't quite need the grow and thrust and power of something like ASUS's own ProWatch StudioBook laptop. So we're talking more like video editors, so if you happen to be a YouTube dickhead like myself, then job done. The VivoBook Pro 16X OLED starts from 1400 quid here in the UK, which is a fairly respectable price considering the specs and features packed inside of this thing. Although of course, as usual, you can bump that price up a wee bit if you want the very top end features like the one terabyte SSD and that NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti GPU. So anyway, let's check out this VivoBook laptop and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So despite its slender build, this ASUS creative laptop is basically designed to mostly just sit on a desk and not really move too much. It weighs just under two kilos and of course it's a 16 inch laptop, so it will be a bit of a struggle to fit into any more compact bags and backpacks. If you are looking for a laptop that you can take on the road to do editing wherever you happen to roam, well, ASUS does also do a 14 inch model of the XOLED, so I'd maybe check that one out instead. As for the actual design of the Vivo book, well, it's it's reasonably plain, to be perfectly honest. Not very exciting at all, especially as the previous ASUS laptop that I reviewed was that absolutely batshit bonkers Alan Walker edition of the ROG Zephyrus G14. Suddenly coming from that laptop to this one, it's a bit like, where's the flair, where's the excitement? And, you know, it is a creative laptop, it's not designed to excite particularly, but I mean, let's face it, even Batman would be like, it's too black. Like even the label, it's black on black. Oh, and of course, uh, even though it is crazy black, it does still somehow show up all those greasy prints when you've been uh, handling the thing. So as always, make sure you've got a, a cleaning cloth handy. Got a pretty respectable selection of ports though. Most of them crammed over there onto the right edge. Just the one type C port, which is a Thunderbolt 4, uh, thankfully. You've got an HDMI port, a USB type A port as well. That's a 3.2 and also a micro SD memory card slot. And then over on the other side, it's literally just a pair of USB 2.0 ports and that's it. So I would have definitely preferred some more Type-C action on there, but apart from that, can't complain. Now, of course, undoubtedly, one of the highlights of the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is that 16-inch OLED screen, which absolutely fills the inside of that VivoBook's lid. It's a 4K resolution panel, absolutely ideal for creators who want to edit photo and video on the fly. You can see every minute detail in there. This panel is Display HDR 500 True Black Certified, absolutely brilliant contrast and accurate colour reproduction to 100% of the sRGB gamut, 89% of the Adobe RGB gamut covered off, and 16x10 uh, aspect ratio as well, again ideal for content creation. And I was really impressed by the brightness of that VivoBook display as well. Seriously, bump it up to the top uh, brightness level. You get 541 nits out of this thing. It is positively eye searing. So ideal if you are out and about, uh, you know, doing your bit of editing on a park bench somewhere for reasons. And the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED's backlit keyboard is a beast with a dedicated number pad here on the right edge and some quirky design elements as well. The actual travel of the keys is surprisingly shallow, but then I guess even though it is a 16 inch laptop, the VivoBook is quite slender as well. Uh, but I still found I could comfortably touch type on this thing for a good long stretch. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the old dedicated number pads on laptops because I find I'm accidentally hitting those instead of the enter key or the shift key when I am touch typing. And, and it is still kind of crazy as well that despite the size of this thing, it's a 16 inch laptop still committing the cardinal sin of having an enter key on a single row instead of two. And these crushed up little cursor keys. However, I definitely do appreciate the fact that you've actually got fingerprint sensor built into that power button, so logging back on is quick and easy. And while you don't get one of ASUS's physical dial pads here on the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED, you do get a virtual version built into that very spacious touchpad, which you can use to make subtle adjustments in supported content like Adobe software. Now, Zeus has shoved an HD webcam in that skinny wee bezel up top, and that's absolutely fine. Again, for your Microsoft Teams, you zoom in and stuff. Nothing special by any means, but as long as the lighting is okay, people generally be able to see your face and what's going on there. And the good news is you do actually get a physical shield there to block that webcam quickly and easily. You don't have to shove a bit of blue tack over there when it's not in use. The VivaBook Pro's built-in mics are absolutely fine to pick it up on your voice as well. And you've got that uh, AI noise cancellation feature on here as well to cut down the background clamor when you're trying to do a Microsoft Teams in a busy place like a cafe or a pub. 
Now the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is available with various CPU options, kicking off with an 11th gen Intel processor and rising to an AMD Ryzen 5900HX. My review sample was one of the more basic models that came with the Ryzen 5 5600H chipset and just 8 gigs of RAM. You can bump that all the way up to 32 gigs if you chuck a good bit of cash at ASUS. My review sample did also come packing an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti GPU and this certainly proved up to the task of video editing and other creative tasks and you can merrily do a bit of gaming on this thing as well as long as you're not expecting to play the very latest titles on the ultra detail settings. And considering it's one of the lower spec models, perfectly respectable scores in the benchmarking tests or for instance in 3D Mark, the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED spaffed out a score of 4035 in Time Spy and it also comfortably passed that time spy stress test. As for the cooling, well, ASUS is normally dependable on that front and certainly the dual fan setup here on the VivoBook Pro did the job nicely. You've got three different fan settings which you can switch between in the My ASUS app. Otherwise, you can just leave it to sort itself out. And I certainly found that even with lots of video editing, bit of gaming and all that, it stayed nice and cool, even when it was resting on my thighs. As for your storage, well, the base amount is 512 gigs, but you can upgrade that to a one terabyte SSD, again, by spaffing out more cache. No particularly impressive speeds in my tests, and though the read speeds are around 2.5 gigabits per second, write speeds a lot less impressive, not even hitting 1.5 gigabits per second, so definitely beaten by some rivals like the Dell XPSs. Didn't notice any issues with the connectivity though, the Wi-Fi strength remains strong even quite a distance from that router. You've got full Wi-Fi 6 support as well, so it's like a bit future-proofing again when we're going to packed out stadiums and big event spaces. Oh, and the battery life. The battery life on the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED absolutely stunning stuff easily as good as that macbook pro uh, with its m1 chip uh, you'll get several hours of video editing out of this thing and if you're just doing more light web-based stuff easily a full day even with you know streaming music in the background all that good stuff and there you have it that in a nutshell is the asus vivobook pro 16x oled slightly clunky name but the actual laptop itself definitely a strong one for creators a strong rival to the likes of the uh, the microsoft surface laptops the dell xps's it might not impress quite across the board as much as some of those XPS models, but certainly the highlight here is that gorgeous display. If you are all about the screen, then this thing will not disappoint. So that's what I think anyway. What do you guys reckon? Be great to your thoughts down in the comments below. For more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.